Oh guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix Fortnite black screen when launching. So the first method would be to open up your Epic Games, then go to Library, find Fortnite, click on three dots, go to Manage. And you want to go ahead and verify the integrity of the game files. If that will not fix the problem, you want to try and run Epic Games Launcher as administrator. Just go ahead, right click on it when you try to open it and run it as administrator. And now another thing to try out is go ahead, open up um, again, manage, then open install location of Fortnite, then go to Fortnite game, binaries, uh, Win64, easy anti-cheat. And you want to just repair easy anti-cheat. So you're going to go ahead, show more options, create a shortcut of easy anti-cheat. Then you will have it here. Now you're going to click properties on the shortcut. And where it says target, at the end, you're going to go ahead and click space and then uh, write down repair. And then I'm going to click apply and OK. And after that, you're going to double click on easy anti-cheat setup. This one, basically open it. And that then you're going to click uh, yes. And that should fix the easy anti-cheat. Now, um, another thing is if you are using Discord application and you have it opened, you want to go ahead and close it before launching Fortnite completely. So go to your task manager and close it completely. And after that, launch Fortnite and see if the problem was fixed. If yes, then you can launch the Discord only after the Fortnite was launched. Another thing to try out is delete config file. So you're gonna go to run, write down local app data, click OK, then you're going to scroll down until you see Fortnite game saved and then you're going to go ahead and delete the config folder just like so. And also you want to go ahead and make sure that your drivers are up to date. I use Nvidia app for this. So here on drivers, if there's any game ready driver, you want to go ahead and download it. Now I can go ahead, restart your PC and see if the problem was fixed. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.